Good evening and welcome back, or indeed just welcome if you're new to the channel. So, a bit of a change today. I had recorded five episodes in two different sessions, however, unfortunately the microphone changed to be defaulted as off on my PS5, so no commentary audio today. So we'll be doing a highlights package of those five games, starting with the first leg of our Champions League tie against Bayern Munich. And the first chance of the match fell to Xerxe, but unfortunately he failed to test the goalkeeper, Jose Sarr, hitting the side netting. But Xerxe did make amends soon after, getting the assist for Pedri, who makes absolutely no mistake in slotting it away. Bayern nearly levelled after 20 minutes, but our youngster Regen Neuer pulled off a smart save against his former club. And then a neat 1-2 between Martinelli and Castro led to the captain making it 2-0. Backer with a spectacular 30 yard effort just before half time, but we go into the break 2 0 up. Martinelli then got his second of the night, the defence backing off and giving him lots of space, and a nice 20 yard strike from the forward. And then Ruben Castro got a little bit of luck for our fourth goal, trying to lob the keeper, the rebound falls back to him, and it's a nice header to finish off there. Everything looking pretty safe, but then Calvert-Lewin bursts through to make it 4-1, not the best defending. Could the comeback be on? Well, spoiler alert. No, it can't. Again, Jose saw him making a good save, but Martinelli is there, the captain tapping in for his hat trick. Bayern Munich did pull another one back through Thomas Muller, really nice finish. And Messi nearly got in the act too, but no further drama, we take a three goal lead back home for the second leg. Our leader Martinelli with a well deserved man of the match, no one else was going to get that, but there were some notable performances from the likes of Ruben Castro, Pedri and Bellingham. On to our second game, back at home in the league with a match against Levante. We're going to give Martinelli a rest, so Diaby is taking over the captain's armband. It was a bit of a scrappy game for the first 30 minutes, so it was going to take something extra special to break the deadlock. And up steps Messi, the regen, the youngster, cutting in from the right and curling around the keeper from a tight angle. What a great finish that is, one of the goals of the season. And that was the only real noteworthy action from the first half, but uh, what a piece of action. And 10 minutes into the second half, Messi should have had a brace, but for many years making the save. And on the hour mark, lightning striking twice, the keeper keeping Levante in this one. And then somehow Diaby finds himself on side, he didn't look it to me, but his shot comes back off the post and into the keeper's arms. Levante then should have had a surprise equaliser, but Schubert managed to close down Okazaki just in time. 
And with only a few minutes to go, Messi finally gets a second goal, Mariba with the assist. And just before the final whistle, Schubert races out of his goal once again and he keeps his clean sheet intact. Messi taking the match ball home with two outstanding goals, especially the first one, and I thought Levante's goalkeeper for many years had a very, very good match to keep it down to two goals. But another three points in the bag. Away to Granada now, and lots of players on up condition today. Zixi leading the forward line. And the first chance of the match is early on, Xerxes leading the ball off to Pedri, who flashes the ball just wide. 40 minutes in, it's Xerxes' turn to miss the target, and again, just now he wide. And it finally takes a scrappy corner for us to go ahead, Pedri tapping in from close range. And on the half hour, Granada's first chance, but as in the last game, Schubert not afraid to leave his box and close down the attacker. Great work from the keeper. And that'll be a story of this game, as you'll see. From the resultant corner, Granada failed to make the best of a good chance, missing the target. And then again, Schubert called in action, closing down Arezzo after some sloppy defending. Zixi had a very good chance just before half time, but both keepers are on form today. Into the second half, Andre Ferreira stops Pedri from getting a second, a very smart low save. And then a long driving run from Azpilicueta. Eventually, he sets up Vieira, but he fails to hit the target. And then shortly afterwards, Messi gets in on the act to be thwarted by a keeper from close range. And with just over 20 minutes to go, Schubert will not be beating Rachina, understandably frustrated. Castro through now, surely this time, but this keeper refuses to give up. And with only seconds remaining, Schubert hits it long to Messi. The ball makes its way across to Pedri, who slides the ball for Castro to tap in from close range. Finally, Malaga get that second goal, and all three points tied up. Pedri getting man of the match in a tightly contested game, but both goalkeepers should have had high ratings. And into the penultimate match of this episode, a tough home game against Valencia, who are currently pushing for the top four. Ruben Castro, Messi and our captain Martinelli are leading the front line today. A fairly cagey opening, neither team giving anything away for the first 20 minutes. But then out of nowhere, Messi sets up Castro, who rifles it in from long range. Some strike from the regen youngster. Messi nearly scoring a rare header, but the keeper is on form today. However, there's nothing you can do about some careless defending. Martinelli slipping the ball back to Messi, who makes no mistake this time. 2-0 at half-time. On the hour mark now, and some nifty footwork by Fabio Vieira results in a foul and a penalty.
Messi steps up for a second of the night. But it's saved again. Another match where the keeper's on form. And this time it's Pedri to be taken down. And a chance just outside the box for Messi to make amends. Going for the top corner. And what a strike that is. No chance for the keeper this time. Some good play by Valencia down the right, but Bellingham takes ball play and his dog out. What a tackle that is. And then there's some miscommunication in the Malaga defence, and Andre is through to pull one back. Ah, oh, but somehow he misses. No, he did close him down, but he's got to be putting that one away. Substitute Modric then has a chance, but it's a team effort from him. Should be doing better there. He puts his foot right through it next time though, but it's off the post and Messi's there to tap it in for his hat-trick with only seconds remaining. And that's how it finished, another clean sheet and another three points. And without doubt Messi was the star of that game even with the missed penalty. And into the final game of the night, a chance to get through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, the second leg tie against Bayern Munich, and Diaby's the captain today. It didn't take long for us to cut Bayern Munich open, but Jose saw as equal to Xerxes, a really nice pass in the build up from Modric too. And then Xerxes misses with a very difficult header, still goalless midway through the first half. And just before half time, Mariba wins the ball back, great tackle there, and then he breaks through the line with a run. The ball is whipped through to Mudrick, who finds Xerxes, third time lucky for the striker. Tight game so far, but we've got a four goal lead on aggregate. Modric testing Jose Zar, but it's easily kept out. And within seconds of coming on, substitute Castro finds himself clean through on goal. Oh, but he goes for placement instead of power and fluffs his lines. Captain Diaby then heads over from close range, Bayern Munich are really under the cosh at the moment. Mariba trying his luck with a thump and strike but there's no way through. Pedri with a wonderful through ball, strength from Diaby but again it's great reactions from Saar. But then with only 5 minutes remaining, a great move which involved Mariba, Mudrik, Pedri it leads to Castro find himself another chance, and no mistake this time, from the edge of the box. That's 2-0 and a 5-goal aggregate lead. And it wasn't Diaby's night, thwarted again by the outstanding Jose Saw yet again. But we're through to the quarterfinals now, 5-goal aggregate win. Xerxes get a man of the match today, outstanding performance, but there's some great all-round play from the team. Some big matches coming up, including a semi-final Copa del Rey tie against Atletico Madrid, and then an away tie against Liverpool back in the Champions League quarter-final. Let me know what your thoughts are on the different format, as it may be something I'm looking to do going forward. I'm potentially looking to do something very similar to this, doing highlights package, maybe of two or three matches per episode, and then potentially doing normal full match commentary on the big matches, no edits. We could do that in finals or big crunch ties in the league. With the potential new format, it would mean a lot more work, so I'd probably have two or three episodes per week. And in all reality, it would still mean four episodes per week on the channel, so you would have the three highlights videos of PES 2021 Master League, 
and then you would have the EA PGA Tour Golf. Currently, I put out one video of that a week, but potentially that could move to do because they're a little bit easier to put out there. But any feedback, I would appreciate you drop that in the comments because I really do take that on board. And as always, thank you for joining once again, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.